<laughs> oh, my George, that's a good one. <laughs> What's so funny, Pop? <laughs> oh, it's you, Junior. <laughs> well, I'm laughing at a joke, that's all. <laughs> Somebody came by and told you a joke, huh? No, nobody came by. I heard the joke two years ago. <laughs> and you're still laughing at it? <laughs> well, I just got the punchline, that's... Uh, <laughs> Look, uh, I don't want to sound disrespectful, Dad, but... Aren't you a little slow? Uh, I mean, two years. Now, wait a minute, son. Wait a minute. You're forgetting one of my most popular <coughs> proverbs. He who laughs last, laughs best. I smell a fable coming up. Which reminds me of a fable. Hey, you see? Not too far away and not too close either. There was a desert. The driest, most uninhabited piece of real estate you ever saw. Outside of the sand, the only thing that moved was two jackrabbits who were prospecting for gold. Hey, look at that, Charlie. You know what that is? That is high grade date. Date? Date. But don't you worry, old pal. One of these days will strike it rich. Come on, let's get some water. The only wet spot in the entire desert was a small outdoor restaurant operated by an industrious mule. The only thing the mule sold was water, which he procured from a nearby well. Good afternoon, gentlemen. And how are we today? We are hot and dry. So give us each a pitcher of water. I would like to comply very much with your wishes, but so far you have drunk 80 pitchers of water and you haven't paid me a cent. Look, we told you we'd pay you when we hit gold, didn't we? Besides, Charlie has got a present for you. He has? Oh, well, that's different. Here's your water. Where's my present? Here. And he fell for it. Hey, that was a good one, Charlie. And the following day found the jackrabbits back on the job. And just like the day before, they eventually wound up at the mule's restaurant. No, I regret to say you get no water unless you pay for it. Look, look, mule. Charlie's awful sorry about the cigar joke yesterday. Ain't you, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, to make up for it, I went into town. I bought you a real good one. Here. Well, I suppose it would be silly of me to hold a grudge. Very well. You can have your water today. Are you, are you sure this cigar is good? It's good, all right. Good and powerful. <laughs> you did it, Charlie. You did it. You went and fooled him again. Now, on the following day, a very strange thing happened. Acting on a hunch, the two jackrabbits took a sample of dirt into the assayer's office and were told it contained not only gold, but silver, uranium, and even lanolin. And they were rich. That's right, you. Me and Charlie are billionaires. Here, yeah, have a cigar. No, you don't. Look, 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 Flam and me are leaving for France. And before we go, we thought we'd try and make up for all the nasty tricks we played on you. No cigars, please. Just pay me the money you owe. Mule, you hurt me, honest. Oh, very well. But I warn you. Say, this is good. I told you. Well, Flam, let's go. You know, I'm kind of proud of you, Charlie. For a minute there, I thought you was going to give that mule another exploding cigar. Oh, fun's fun, Flam, but after all... <laughs> well, sir, no one can have more fun in Paris than two jackrabbits. Especially if they're rich. Yeah, this is what I call real living. By the way, how long have we been here? Two years and eleven days. Ah, this is living all right. Sure is. Only we better go a little easier on our money. How much have we got left? Buck and a half. Uh -huh. Well, the spree was over. And there was nothing left to do but to return to the desert and dig for more gold. This is hard work. Let's quit and get some water. <laughs> nice to see you, Mule. Uh, by the way, I brought you a present all the way from Paris. Here. Uh, the mule took one look at the cigar and promptly headed for parts unknown. As for the jackrabbits, they decided to get their own water. But can you imagine their surprise at finding the well empty? Hey, mule! Come back! Let us out of here! So the mule had the last laugh after all. And that's why I say, he who laughs last, laughs best. Gee, that's a swell fable, Pop. And a pretty good moral, too. Yeah, only a pretty good one? Well, I can think of a better one. All right, let's have it. <clears throat> you never miss the waiter till the well runs dry. You never do. Oh, Junior. 